Okay, guys, I wanted to make a video on basically roasting the movement inside of Fortnite. I wanted to do that at first, but we are now finding out that updates are coming to Fortnite, not only for Battle Royale, but for these other modes as well. We have Battle Royale, we have LEGO Fortnite, we have Rocket Racing, we have Fortnite Festival. It's so much, so much into this game. Zero Bill, Ranked, just any, any, any of these creator maps on Creative as well. We have so many different modes inside of Fortnite, and it's honestly ridiculous. Um, my name is NinjaX21. If you guys continue to enjoy the content, make sure you give it a like, subscribe, share that bell so you always get notified every time a new video releases. And let's go ahead and just talk more about it. So I was going to go ahead and broach the movement about just Fortnite in general. I didn't like the the way the movement was. I do think it's unique in its own way. Um, but the only thing about the movement, personally for me, is how slow it is. Um, it can really be a disadvantage. Um, not just a disadvantage for me, but a disadvantage for any other player in the lobby that's you you don't have that sprint to keep you going, right? And you want to build, right? And let's say nobody's around. At least you don't see nobody around at the moment. But you only got that one guy in front of you. He's the only person you see. I'm building towards him. And I'm not thinking about, you know, getting shot in the back or anything like that. Okay, so I build towards him, and I get shot and deleted. And obviously, I can just turn around, build, whatever I'm going to do. But... I'm pretty, like, my character is pretty much that much slower to the point where they can get a really good shot on me without me actually noticing uh, that they are going to shoot at me before they do it. Some, uh, in some instances, build fights, they can do that as well. Your character is not physically moving fast enough to actually make the necessary changes as far as movement is concerned to, I don't know, avoid being shot at or getting shot at less because something that I realized playing last season of Fortnite OG was that, you know, can, can you know, kind of comparing it to this season, it was that when you move and while you get shot at, they can, they have a definite chance of missing their shots because how fast your character moves in, in that season compared to this season, they have a really good, you know, angle to shoot at you from, in this season, especially in zero build, I feel like in zero build, you are you are really like at a disadvantage. Um, any player is, any player is, but if you got height and the way your character moves around, you already sprint sprinted and used all of that up. Like it's it's not like it's not even a battle at that point, in my personal opinion. But yeah. I wanted to get that out of the way. They're making the necessary changes, and I hope to see them do really good at that. And that's what Battle Royale was concerned for. We have Lego Fortnite. This is like a Terraria Minecraft, Lego Fortnite you know, game. All these games mixed into one, and it, all you do is su basically is survival. And you get to open your own map, your own world, do what you got to do. As far as, um, I'm sure you can farm in the game. You can have other NPCs interact, move around with you around the map. You have uh, villages you can go ahead and set up for those NPCs. You have so many different things to do, which is very, is very cool, man. I think this mode is one of the best ones. Um, it's probably the best mode out of every single one of them at the moment. With Fortnite Festival being my favorite, I do like that one, but uh, yeah, Lego Fortnite has been something else as a as of late. Ever since its release, it's been really good. We also have Rocky Racing, which I haven't tried it. I'm assuming it's their. I don't I don't want to say it's their version of Mario Kart because I don't know how the game mode plays yet. I have not seen gameplay on the mode yet, but I want to say it's like their version of Mario Kart, and it's like, um, it's interesting. It's like uh, Rocket League, I guess, because Fortnite owns Rocket League, or Epic Games own Rocket League, rather. Um, I find that pretty cool, and yeah. So that's probably what that mode is most likely is. It's mainly it's probably like a Mario Kart s Rocket League mode. It's probably what that is. 
um, Fortnite Festival. This is like Guitar Hero, if you guys don't know. Um, I guess Epic Games has bought Harmonix. I know they own a lot of different companies. Um, I, I think Epic Games has Rogue Company in their pocket too, if, I, if I'm not wrong. They own a lot of great games and a lot of great like tools that they can use to make the games even better. And Fortnite Festival is one of those modes where you know you can just have a vibe playing your favorite game, which is Fortnite, and you can just listen to some of your favorite music as well. And you have to match the beat to for certain you know songs or whatever. They have media. They have an easy, medium, hard, and expert mode that you can go ahead and play, and with variety of other different you know things you can use as far as microphones, guitars, bass, and drums. Um, you'll be the lead singer, which is the microphone that I have mentioned. Um, I find that really cool about that. And I will review each mode just to get my perspective on it. You can see the videos roll out in the next coming days, or you can see the videos roll out between today or tomorrow, depending on when I decide to make the video public or not. I should probably have them all made already by the time you guys are watching this video. I'm just not sure yet. But yeah, those are the modes and I found it very, very interesting. I do want to share something about Fortnite Festival that has uh, me have my eyes glued to the mode. So Harmonix is a one of my favorite uh, companies when they were making really good games at that point. They made these three games. I'm absolutely in love with the second and third one, but it's called Dancers with Two and Dancers with Three. These games, man, were so some of my favorites growing up. All I did when I was at school um, was thought about you know getting back home and playing that game um, when I was in elementary school and a little bit towards middle school. Just getting back home and playing Dance Central. And even in the morning before school, I fire up maybe like two or three songs before I take my uh shower and then head off onto the bus. Man, it was it was so it was so good, man. It was so good. Such a great game, man. I still have it now. I have it uh I have three game cases in my uh gaming box, which has nothing but games in it. And I also have those three, exact same three games on my um, JTAG Xbox 360. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically an Xbox 360 that you can take any game that you prefer and just put it on there while, you know, putting your disc in there and having to worry about your disc being scratched up because the console um, can mess up disc. Um, that's the only thing I didn't like about the 360, just the disc tray and everything like that. So... Yeah, I found that pretty, pretty cool. Um, it took me a while to get used to everything, but yeah, we back at it. I'm glad I could uh, make another vi another video for you guys. I didn't want to make this one too long, but I kind of wanted to explain everything that was going on. And I wanted to make that video. I actually have it uploaded of me just basically talking bad about the season overall, but they have lit up. They have lit up. They listen to, to the community, which I can respect. And they have shown me that I can trust them in the decisions that they make. Now, I, like, the only thing I hate at the moment, absolutely hate, is how much those cars cost in the item shop. That is way too much. And not every one person that's working a job will spend all of their money just to get those cosmetics. Because we, like... Just working in general, man. We have bills and different things like that. I've, it's so expensive to get everything. And just them making the V-Buck changes, the cost and price and all this other stuff when it comes to the V-Bucks, it makes it even harder to actually get these cosmetics. So I'm I'm going to hold off on the cars and the guitars and all of that good stuff. But the music for Fortnite Festival... I will definitely keep my eyes on that. And also, they actually got uh, the mode, the festival pass, before I end off this video. And I've been playing for a little bit. I haven't been playing for too much because of work and everything like that. I've been playing for a little bit to the point where I almost got a tier done. And I probably will get some V-Bucks, maybe like $18 worth, um, and buy 
just pass and hopefully I don't think I have enough for the siren skin. I want I want the siren skin, but it is what it is. We don't um we don't have to spin up all our money here. That's what I would like to do right now. Spend some money on something I would like to, you know, have, but doing Christmas shopping and different things like that definitely put uh, you know definitely takes a toll but that's gonna be it for the video thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in whatever video i post next peace